woke up this morning uh, and Astro is sitting right here in the middle of the floor. Uh, he has a on and off button on him. Um, if you, you see that flickering light, if this, uh, you see the microphone button? If you'll press that and hold that for three seconds, you'll get a screen that comes up like this. See? And then you can either uh, shut him off or restart him. Now if you mute the mic, let's see if his sensor goes off. Yes, see? The sensor went off down at the bottom. No longer scanning. So he is in sleep mode. So I believe if you leave him <clears throat> in this mode, he won't get in the middle of the floor, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Now how do I in the world do I? Hey Astro, home screen. Hey Astro, cancel. You get rid of that, so just go away on its own. So, if I wanted to turn him off, I could hit either one of these. Let's see how long it stays there. Where it'll go away. Maybe if I volume up, it'll go away. Nope. Maybe if I hold it for another three seconds, it'll go off. Astro, cancel. So I guess I'm stuck to do. So we'll hit the button and restart him. So if he gets glitchy on him and you want to turn him off, you can press that button for three seconds and it will make him go off. My little boy got creeped out by him. I was taking a nap uh, yesterday evening and he likes to sit right there in the middle of the floor. He, is, he graduated yesterday and we had him, had uh, Astro come into the kitchen and play music. tell you, I wish they, they would have thought enough to put some touch sensors right up here. And that way you could pet him and he could make a purring sound. That would have been a would have been an improvement. I don't want it to, I mean, it has to have antennas in it for a stop. I'm starting to learn how this thing works. He puts out a grid of infrared light. And these sensors pick up the grid. And they can tell... If there's an obstacle about this far out, so that's why he can avoid obstacles. I think that's kind of neat. And in the back back here, I'm gonna make a, a platform that I can let Debo ride around on it. I'll make a video of that. I have a, a little device called an Evo. Over here. It has its own little charging station. And he's basically similar to an Astro. Well, a whole lot smaller. I'm going to make a, a, a little bit larger one of these Evos. <laughs>
And what Evo is, is also a camera surveillance device. But you can see the size difference between an Evo and an Astro. <laughs> He's noticed, starting to notice that all these computer names are, I mean robot names are, got a bow in them, don't it? Shebo, Astro, they sound the same, Astro, and Ebo. Ebo is on right now. He has an app that can control him. He's not, he doesn't do his own thing. Uh, <clears throat> it does have, man, is that thing? All right, go ahead. I think it's is it infrared uh, devices is uh. Well, if you wanted to have two cameras, you could put Evo inside of you know, his chart and uh, kind of ride him around. You'd have a rear view and a front view. <laughs> hey, Astro, where are you at? <laughs> hey, Astro. What room are you in? Hey Astro, go home. That's his home over here. So, <clears throat> if you asked him to go home, he goes home. I'm starting to think that this is deflected upward and downward. There's the pattern. See how it's going? It appears to be moving. It's like a self-driving car, that they use lasers. He doesn't need lasers for that. See, that would penetrate uh, light barriers and stuff. Anyhow, he's got my evil back there. <laughs> this morning, like I said, he was in the middle of the room right here. And his battery is at 71%. Which means he's been there for a while. I went to bed last night around about 11. And he went to sleep. If you tell him to go to sleep, he'll go to sleep. Hey Astro, go to sleep. See? Now he's not scanning the room, see? So when he's awake, or if you see something move, I think, maybe not. There, that's, yeah, he's, yeah, he saw something move. So he wakes up. <clears throat> so it's an experiment. Probably do this overnight, but I'm gonna do it now. I'll mute his mic. We'll leave it like this. Uh, kind of like when you go to bed, and then leave him like that. That way he can stay on his charger and he won't room, uh, maybe he won't go around in the room. You'll notice as soon as I do that, of course, he's no longer scanning and he's, his eyes are closed. Well, this is Dr. Jibo. I thought you'd enjoy that. 
I guess I need to remove my Evo back here. Dr. Debo, I'm really impressed with this machine. Uh, uh, they could probably <clears throat> change the app or maybe even upgrade the software to fix it where wherever his Wi-Fi antenna is, if you create a, a disruption of the field, you can make him make sounds if they hadn't already got that set up that way. There's a lot of things they haven't turned on on this thing yet, and it's kind of a work in progress. But I'm uh, really impressed with it. And uh, have a blessed day.